Hello! Hey guys! Uh, welcome back to my channel. It is the Style Cat here. Um, so today I'm going to be doing a pretty popular video that's been circulating around YouTube and it's the I copied so-and-so's Instagram picture feed blah, blah blah for a week, whatever variation you want to call it. Usually people just choose one person to copy, but I just copied a bunch of different people because why not? Um, so this is actually a lot harder than I expected. Obviously, full disclaimer, um, I don't look like any of these girls on Instagram. First of all, I'm Asian. Second of all, I'm blonde. Third of all, I have straight bangs. And there's basically no one I can copy that I will look basically the same as visually. So these are kind of just um, interpretations. I'm not trying to make these pictures exactly the same, but pretty close. And I also kind of forgot to vlog along the way because... I don't know, like while I was taking these pictures I felt like I was always like in a rush and I kind of forgot to vlog well a lot of parts so I'll just kind of insert what I have. I'll show you guys the first one that I did. So the first person I copied is the iconic Alexis Wren. Um, there were a lot of pictures to choose from but I chose this picture um, because I thought it'd be very attainable and it just seemed really fun to do. So uh, just to give you guys, I'll just like explain a little bit. So I live in London right now and I looked up basically like the only American style diner that there is in Shoreditch and I went there with my friend Heather and um, as soon as I got there I was like let me see your menu do your milkshakes come with a cherry on top the waitress was like oh let me go check and she had to check if they had cherries but the cherry didn't really have a stem so if you look closely at the picture uh, I actually stuck a little toothpick onto the cherry to make like a little fake stem so I could kind of hold it in the right spot. I think this picture actually turned out the best out of all of them. Uh, I didn't do any other, you know, I didn't vlog the whole thing because we were using my camera to shoot. There were these two old men that kind of came in and they're kind of watching the whole thing and it was pretty awkward because I'm basically like trying to suck on a cherry and they're just kind of watching and so it was, I just wanted to get that experience over as fast as possible. So uh, here is my attempt and I think it went pretty well. Um, I actually wore this shirt that I'm wearing right now because I don't have a black tube top and I just kind of tucked in the sleeves and then, actually yeah and I'm wearing these these neck these gold necklaces too and I did try to do space buns because um, I have some roots and it would have looked really bad if I just tried that with my hair right now. It's actually really difficult to do because her body was in such like a weird posture where she was like simultaneously like sticking out her chest her her arm was like tensed and like muscled up and I don't know so that was that one um, it was really fun to do and the milkshake was actually really good too so I'd recommend that okay so the next one I decided to do was Selena Gomez and I chose this picture right here because I thought that it was, it's something that would be a little bit of a challenge and I thought it'd be easy, uh, fun to recreate with the text on the bottom. So for this picture, again I didn't uh, vlog any of this, <laughs> but I'll just explain it. So for this picture, uh, my boyfriend and I, we actually went all the way to the English countryside. We were going there anyways, but I thought it'd be the perfect chance to get a picture. I looked all over the internet to find a t-shirt, kind of like the one that she's wearing. Her t-shirt is like an orange and yellow uh, stripes but it has this weird texture on it so I looked all over the internet all over the fast fashion sites and I finally found one that was so similar I got it from New Look I had to actually search to find all the stores that would carry it and the only store that I found carried it in a size 10 so it was a little bit big for me um, I bought white shorts because I didn't have any and I also bought these little uh, earrings oh they're right here I bought these little earrings to go um, to match. I couldn't find any orange ones, but these were pretty close. So this is Selena's picture, and this is my picture. So I think this one was pretty good. Again, my hair color is different from hers. The lighting was very different. Uh, even though we were in the countryside, there were almost no trees. We were just basically walking through fields and fields of cut down grass and like empty wheat fields so yeah it was a little bit tricky for that one too. So the next girl I decided to copy was Father Kells and I think she is super pretty even though she's obviously all surgeried up. I think she's so gorgeous. 
Um, and I found this picture of her right here and I thought it'd be relatively easy to copy and I, as soon as I saw this picture I thought, oh I could go to like the London Sky Garden building which is this uh, building where you can go all the way to the very top and see kind of the whole skyline of London and they have a bunch of plants there and it's, you can go for free so I was like, oh perfect, I'll go there. I also searched high low for this outfit. She's wearing some kind of lime green top and bottom like athletic jogger set so I searched everywhere and I finally found it on Pretty Little Thing so I ordered that. Um, I already had a denim jacket and I couldn't find like a blue polka dotted headscarf thing so I just put up on this like little blue headband and we actually have kind of like a similar hair color here with some root growth so this wasn't too 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 hard to do so I'm at the Sky Garden right now, I'm waiting for my friend Katie and I have my neon outfit on underneath I think this is the spot to shoot and right now it's 8am, I have to be at work at 9.30 and this is like the earliest I've woken up in ages but anyway, so this is her picture and this is my picture in this picture, she was like extremely, extremely tan, so I had to kind of darken up my skin tone to match it a little bit. And then like as I was doing this picture, I kept feeling like this is such an unnatural pose. Like what possessed her to pose in this fashion where she's kind of grabbing her leg and her hand is resting on her knee at the same time. Like it just felt so unnatural, but hey, you know, like I'll, half of my pictures, like it just looked like weird. I was just in this weird, weird pose. Okay, so I don't know if I'm actually going to post this one or not, but this last one I did was also uh, inspired by Selena Gomez. Um, I don't honest, I honestly don't like Selena Gomez. I don't really like her music. I mean, I don't like her, but I just don't think anything special about her. Like, I think she, she looks like a really, really young little child, but just her pictures were pretty good and I thought that they'd be good to copy. Um, so this one, I, I chose this one because I think this one was the first to have like, ex this one is like one of the most popular pictures on Instagram, like period. It's this picture of her in red uh, drinking from this classic Coke. So the problem with this one was that it's basically like, like a portrait shot. So it's, you know, all about her face and her hair and me and her look nothing, absolutely nothing alike and we have completely, completely opposite hair. So I feel like this one was a little bit of a failure, but I did try my best. I did get the can of classic coke, I bought some straws from the dollar store. So I'm prepared for my Selena Gomez iconic coke shoot. I've got this bottle of classic coke and I've picked up some stripy straws from the dollar store and I'm ready to go. Uh, I've also painted my nails red. And I bought a red shirt and I got my friend Katie to let me take this picture. So this is her picture and this is my picture. I'm not too proud of this one. I'm not sure if I'm going to include this one in the video, but there's that. In this picture they use some kind of reflector to really bounce a lot of light onto her face and kind of just flood her face with light. And when we took this picture it was around 7.30 p.m. and it was getting pretty dark and we didn't have a reflector. The, the lighting on my face is just horrible, so I had to photoshop it really, really heavily, and it just didn't look so good. So, I hope you guys liked that. It was a lot tougher than I thought it was going to be, but I think I also chose kind of challenging locations, and also the fact that I look nothing like these girls, and I have a really specific hairstyle right now, so that made it even more challenging. But I did my best, and I hope you guys liked it. Please leave me a comment. Please hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I just hit 10k, so I'm super happy about that. Woohoo! Um, and yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Hello, hello. Uh, today I'm bringing you a glowy makeup look for when it is hot AF outside. Currently, it's been over 3 degrees every day in London, and uh, for some reason, no one's heard of AC, so that's the inspiration for this video. Let's begin. I'm going to start by using the Herbivore Botanicals Rose Face Mist, and I'm just going to spritz that all over. Uh, I did put on some glossy moisturizer first thing in the morning, but I just wanted to refresh my face. Next, I'm using the Pixie by Petra Correction Concealer in Brightening Peach. Uh, I have to use it because I have these 
dark ass blue veins underneath my eyes all my life. 